Well, summer is always hot. We always know that. Mm -hmm. But this one, I don't know, just seems a little bit hotter. CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing digs through the numbers to see how our summer is faring so far. We're just about halfway through summer, so let's see how we're shaping up. So first things first, when I talk about summer here, I mean June 1st through August 31st. We call that meteorological summer. So with that out of the way, our overall average temperature from June 1st through right now is 80.5 degrees. Remember, that includes both the morning lows and the afternoon highs. And that means with a little more than a month to go, we are already in third place for the hottest summer on record in the great Greater Raleigh area. The hottest summer on record, by the way, happened only 12 years ago in 2010 with an average temperature of 81.6 degrees. All right, so let's shift gears, talk about our summer rain or lack thereof. So far this summer, we've had just over eight inches of rain in Raleigh. That number obviously varies from region to region, but we'll use this as our baseline. That eight inches of rain puts us at the 12th driest summer on record. But remember, we have more than a month left of summer, so if we continue to get Halfway decent rains that could improve our dry conditions. And we've already seen that just over the last few weeks. Some of us, especially east of I 95, are still in a moderate drought. But if you compare the drought conditions from now, just about a month ago, a severe drought had developed for much of central North Carolina. In fact, Raleigh only picked up just a little over an inch and a half of rain for the entire month of June. So while we've still had a dry summer, at least we're finally starting to get some rain. Now, in terms of temperatures, we've been hot, and the outlook for the last two weeks definitely keeps it that way. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.